BCL6 is a master transcription factor important for blood cell differentiation. Homodimerization of BCL6 yields an active complex that regulates its transcriptional targets. However, if BCL6 is overexpressed in certain blood cells, it can lead to the development of a type of cancer called lymphoma. Turning off BCL6 in these cells could lead to the regression of the disease. The pharmaceutical company Boehringer Ingelheim has identified a small molecule which binds to the BCL6 BTB domain and induces BCL6 degradation by an unknown mechanism, leading to the death of treated lymphoma cells. We decided to elucidate the mechanism by which BCL6 mysteriously disappears upon degrader treatment. To track what happens to BCL6 after treatment with the degrader, we fused BCL6 to a green fluorescent protein, or GFP, and observed the cells by live cell fluorescence microscopy. After the addition of BCL6 degrader, to our great surprise, we noticed the appearance of distinct BCL6 GFP containing foci within minutes of degrader treatment followed by their subsequent disappearance, presumably caused by protein degradation. To understand this phenomenon, we purified recombinant BCL6 protein and observed that, upon degrader treatment, BCL6 formed stunning long coil-shaped filaments in vitro. Through cryoelectron microscopy, we found out that the degrader binds to a groove on one BCL6 dimer, and the solvent-exposed moiety of the degrader subsequently induces an interaction with a second, adjacent BCL6 dimer. Thus, the degrader essentially glues individual BCL6 dimers to polymeric filaments. Finally, to identify genes that are required for this drug-induced BCL6 degradation and toxicity, we employed a CRISPR-Cas9 screening approach. We identified the CO1E3 ubiquitin ligase, which co-localizes in the foci, with the greater-induced polymerized BCL6. The increased local concentration of this E3 ubiquitin ligase and its substrate enhances the ubiquitation of BCL6 and results in its degradation by the protosome, the cellular disposal system. In summary, we demonstrated that the degrader binds to the BCL6 BTB domain and due to the solvent-exposed moiety of the degrader, it induces self-interactions between dimers and triggers the polymerization of BCL6 into filaments, which enhances ubiquination of BCL6 by CO1, leading to proteosomal degradation. We think small molecule binders of symmetric proteins could be transformed into polymerizers by modifying their solvent-exposed moieties. These findings represent a novel mechanism by which a small molecule inactivates a target through specific drug-induced protein polymerization and subsequent degradation. For more details, please see our manuscript entitled Small Molecule-Induced Polymerization Triggers Degradation of BCL-6.